What's up, YouTube? This is CyberFelon, and welcome to another episode of The Duel Diary, a weekly series where I duel against you, the online Yu-Gi-Oh! community, using some of my favorite decks. And in today's episode, we're all aboard that hype train for Rank 10 Trains. They just got released here in the US in the Dark Illusion, and they're gonna get more support once Dragons of Legend Unleash rolls into the station. So without further ado, let's stay on schedule and let's get this show going. Hmm. Not too good of a hand, but I can work with it. Destiny draw, okay. Assuming he's playing the new Destiny heroes. Target one spell card your opponent draws. Then I shall get the not even. Yeah, I'll definitely go into that. I will s fusion summon Winda. Hedgehog and Squamata. Dragon to hand. Where should I add school? I'm gonna add Squamata again. Yes. That would have been good a little while ago. For now, battle phase. I don't know which one's more of a threat. I think this guy's more of a threat. Since he can destroy spells. Okay. Don't know what that accomplished. Set and enter. Yeah, let's go ahead and get rid of that only special summon he can do. Go ahead and summon Ruffian Railcar. And then let's deal some damage. Let's deal a lot of damage. And attack again. And I'll go ahead and pass.
，拜拜。Oh, nice! Terraforming. And then the rank ten trains come along. Go ahead and dump one to get Express Knight. Normal summon. Without tribute. Use the effect. Ah, I got screwed over my own, by my own effect. Oh, that's so hilarious. That's fine. That is perfectly fine. Well, that's one way to clear the field. My rail car effect activates, which allows me to get Express Knight again. Normal summon. Scrap your effect. Actually, I should have Dark Hold first. It wouldn't have mattered. He's still not going to take damage. Um... <laughs> should I blow him up with a spider? Or should I play defensive with the trains? Ah, uh, heck. I'm gonna blow up spiders. And the big one. But he's not gonna take any damage. Express Knight. I guess he doesn't know that my field spell. But I guess it's GG now since he didn't have a monster. I think I'm just going with this. Shadal Fusion, Shakanaga. Dump both of those. Draw a card. Okay, that's not bad. Set. Yeah, enter. And then the effect. Let's go ahead and get. Should we get Dark Hand or Knight? Get an Express Knight. He's the main playmaker.
Hmm. All right, let's just go ahead and do this. Oh. Normal summon. Even if he has a vanity's emptiness, it's, I can still go ahead and use Express Knight. Mostly because Forbidden Chalice. Yep, I have the field spell. Okay, I guess that can happen. That's completely fine. Battle phase. Get a book of moon. Okay. Then I guess I will end my turn and let him think that I have nothing. Just switching to defense mode. Now I'm gonna max C. Yep. Maybe he's going to her. Yeah, I have to activate this on her. My Express Knight's gonna die horribly, but at least I get to keep Shekinaga around. One thing you always have to be careful about is Maxi. If you decide to go with all your plays, 
you need to make sure they kill your opponent or you can create a strong enough board that doesn't matter what your opponent gets. Because right now I've got a pretty good hand. Okay. Kinda seems like a waste to me, but it's fine. Especially since I can just bring it back. Shikanaga. Let's dump a rail car and then Fell Trap, no. Let's go ahead and dump a beast. Shakanaga. Beast effect draws another card. Switch yard effect. Yep. Ten, summon at ten, and ooh, express knight. Then I'll go ahead first off. Summon my spider. Summon my other spider, or rank up into him. Probably reading what the card does. Simply put, blows up everything that has a defense weaker than his. per turn so I'll detach the oh, I'll detach the spider special summon the biggest spider then I'll go ahead and activate can't do any damage because I use switch yards effect But yep, yeah, I was going to go into a Dweller so he can't use any effects in the grave. But doesn't matter. Fun part is, I didn't get the right train. So, let's kind of go into a less than useful play. Special summon. It's not less than useful, it's just a very awkward play. Very awkward play. Go for 81 in defense mode. And leave a little protection.
Looks like somebody else is using Destiny Heroes. Hmm, very nice. Very, very nice. Okay. Probably a special summon. Oh. I can't wait for this card to come out in the TCG. It's such a weird card, but it's so good. I mean, the main restriction that sucks, other than the battle phase, but that's a common thing now, is you can't special summon anymore. Which, it's not bad, it's just it's kind of really horrible at the same time. Pretty sure one of those is definitely a mass change. Alrighty. I'm gonna go ahead and set Shadal Dragon. Put this guy in attack mode. And run over. Dark, dark, and dark. So it doesn't matter what I run over because he's gonna bring out Dark Law. But I will try to stop that. Attack. And if I destroy Shadow Mist, he's just gonna get something off of it, so destroy this guy. Yep, there's a mask change. Oh, an Anki, okay. Then let's destroy uh, Let's get that back afterwards Yeah, let's go ahead and destroy delicious Of course he has another mass change but, I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Detach. Make her unaffected. Oh, hoo -hoo, that solemn strike. But that's okay. I detached Durkin. So now I can destroy Darklaw. Bye bye That's fine. Yes, I'm going to redo my battle and attack him again. Alright. All in my turn. Yes, rough a rail car. I will search out a Night Express Knight. Good thing I have Soul Charge in my hand.
Yep, easy peasy. That was actually a really good hit off of um, Diamond Dude. He's gonna summon. There's plenty of rank fours that are good. Using going to lightning. He's gonna try to do some massive damage. My hope is that he attacks with Anki first or attacks with anybody into my face down. But he'll probably go for lightning into roughly a rail car. Okay, and you want. Okay, he's going to go ahead and do that. Now is he going to use a boost? Yes, he is. Well, that sucked. But it shows you, your Destiny Heroes are pretty good. shenanigans because shenanigans are fun Oh, is this a mirror match? <laughs> yes, this is. I'm immune. And his train's gonna be destroyed. Maybe you should have destroyed an electric cyber and dragon just because it is a 4,000 point beater. But, you know, mistakes are made. 
Hmm. Not gonna be that good. Let's go ahead and activate. Make myself immune. Dark hole. Bye. Battle phase and attack directly. Alright, main phase two. Set warning to stop all his train shenanigans and keep my guy alive. Mm -hmm. Express Knight. If he has that, then I'm assuming he probably has another Durkin or maybe the Field Spell. We'll see. Mound of the Bound Creator, okay. Hmm. That's fine. So he's playing a pure build. And there's where I stop him. May protect against level 10s, but once you go into the rank, you're vulnerable. But it's still a great card for the deck. Maybe. It's good for protecting your cards to go into your rank 10 play. Nice. Hmm. If I do that, I won't be able to attack. Deal damage. I can attack, but I won't be able to do damage. Okay. Let's attack and see what he does. Mirror Force, okay. That's fine. Main phase two. Now I'm going to go into my 10. Summon and yeah, it's better just going to this guy again. All right. Field is open. To attack. We get rail car out of here. Just in case he's got battle fader, and then I can get rail car's effect off. That way next turn I can take him out. Let's go ahead and add him. Because all I need is some fusion materials. Alright. What else has he got? I have no idea what you're saying, dude. I'm sorry. Fusion Summon. Shekinaga. Beast Effect. No. That. Oh, it's a fusion. That's pretty good. But this should be game. And I will attack.
Well, that's it for today, YouTube. Hope you guys enjoyed the duels. As always, here's a quick look at the deck. It is a Shadal Train variant. I do recommend this variant over the pure trains. Both of them are really good, but this one is a lot more consistent. And you're able to get your plays off more because of Shadal Fusion and all the Shadal cards along with Shekinaga. But it's a really fun deck. I highly recommend it now that the trains are out. Once Express Night Express Knight comes out in Dragons of Legend 3, the deck will be playable because without him it's kind of not. Oh, not to a certain extent. But I definitely recommend picking it up if you're able to. It's probably not going to be all that expensive. At least I'm hoping because I kind of want to pick it up also. But it's a really fun deck. Shekinaga is awesome. Being able to play with the spiders is very fun. And then of course, number 81 itself is such a hard card to get over. Unless you're playing Monarchs. But that's it for today, YouTube. Hope you guys enjoyed the duels. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, later.